Trishyam 2 is a 2021 Indian Malayalam language thrill ride movie coordinated by Jitu Joseph and delivered by Anthony Parambabur. It is the spin off of the 2013 film Drishyam and stars Mohan Lal, Meena, Ansiba Hassan, and Esther Anil in lead jobs, with Asha Shara, Siddiq, Murali Gopi, and Sayakumar in supporting jobs. The film was delivered on Amazon Prime Video on February 19, 2021. The narrative of Drishyam 2 gets from where the principal film finished, with the hero, George Cuddy, and his family carrying on with a quiet life after effectively concealing a wrongdoing they had carried out. Notwithstanding, their lives are flipped around when new proof arises, and they end up trapped in a snare of trickery and risk. The film got positive audits from pundits and crowds the same, with acclaim for the exhibitions of the cast, particularly Mohan Lal. The movie was likewise praised for its screenplay, course, and cinematography. Drishyam 2 has been a business achievement, with many believing it to be one of the most incredible Indian movies of 2021. In general, Drishyam 2 is a holding spine chiller that will keep you as eager and anxious as ever until the end. In the event that you partook in the primary film, you will partake in this spin-off, which takes the story higher than ever and conveys a fantastic end to the series. Plot The plot of the film interfaces with the ancestor. For more data on the ancestor's plot, see Drishyam. The evening of August 3, 2013, a man named Jose George is on the run from the experts for killing his brother by marriage. Taking cover behind an incomplete police headquarters, he sees George Cuddy arising out of it. A short time later, he endeavors to apologize to his better half, however turns out to be captured by the police. After six years, George Cuddy, Ronnie, Anju, and Anu are currently carrying on with a more prosperous existence. George Cuddy is the proprietor of an effective cinema and longs to deliver his own film in spite of Ronnie's complaints. He is in successive contact with Vinyachandran, a conspicuous screenwriter, to set up the screenplay for his film. Anju, then again, experiences epilepsy and PTSD a consequence of her feelings of dread toward being captured for her part in Varun's homicide. To Rani's shame, various local people have turned to spreading bits of hearsay about Anju having venereal associations with Varun. Rani's just wellspring of comfort is her accommodating neighbor Saradha, an administration representative, who is much of the time mishandled by her alcoholic spouse, Sabu, a land intermediary. The Kerala police has been embarrassed in their powerlessness to unravel reality behind Varun's case. In the meantime, George Cuddy has an experience with Varun's dad Mr. Prabhakar, who pointlessly asks the previous to reveal the area of his child's remaining parts. In the interim, Anu returns home for spring break and welcomes her companions notwithstanding Ronnie's complaints. With George Cuddy staying detached to her interests, Ronnie invests more energy with Sarita, and on one event, coincidentally shouts on reality with regards to her family's complicity in Varun's passing. Unbeknownst to her, Sarita and Sabu are really hitched covered police, relegated by IGP Thomas Bastin, who is a dear companion and partner of Gita. In the meantime, Jose is let out of jail. Subsequent to battling to offer to set things straight with his presently alienated family, he tries to track down work. While coming to realize that Georgia Cuddy's case is as yet progressing, he recalls Georgia Cuddy's attendance at the police headquarters which was under development. Understanding that George Cuddy was to be sure complicit in the homicide, he tips Bastin who later requests Giha and Prabhakar from the U.S.A. After the triplet pay offs him with an amount of 500,000 rupees, Jose uncovers Georgia Cuddy's attendance at the then incomplete police headquarters the evening of August 3rd. Outfitted with Jose's disclosures, the specialists strike the police headquarters, at last uncovering a human skeleton. Simultaneously, George Cuddy, having seen the occasions through his CCTV cameras, which he had set up around the police headquarters, apparently surrenders. Equipped with the revelation of the human remaining parts, Bastin, Gita, and Prabhakar calls George Cuddy's family for a casual cross-examination. George Cuddy, Rani, Anu, and Anju figure out how to keep up with their vindication. Notwithstanding, Gita uncovers a voice recording of Rani's previous admission to Sarita, the police had messed with the family home prior. Having uncovered the family, Giha goes to address Anju, bringing about the last option having another epileptic fit. Troubled, George Cuddy erroneously admits that he was the guilty party in Varun's homicide. With the police fulfilled, the family is delivered and George Cuddy turns out to be captured, despite the fact that Giha isn't fulfilled as she requests that Georgia Cuddy's family be rebuffed also. Afterward, George Cuddy is put being investigated for Varun's homicide. Simultaneously, Vinaya Chandaran, 
having found out about Georgia Cuddy's capture, visits Bastin <coughs> and Prabhakar. He uncovers that during his business plots with George Cuddy, the last auction had manufactured a content for a future wrongdoing thrill ride, inexactly founded on Burns' homicide. He further uncovers that George Cuddy had distributed a novel, named Drishyam, in light of the film script, in spite of the fact that it was distributed under Vinyachandran's name, for copyright security. The group of four is then educated that George Cuddy had formally argued not liable, with his lawful protection presenting that he had been outlined by the specialists, which had abused Drishyam's plot as a way to implicate him. Understanding that George Cuddy's prior admission coordinates with Drishyam's plot, Bastin derives that George Cuddy had made the novel and the admission, as a piece of a plan to get away from legitimate discipline. Much really astonishing, the DNA tests led on the skeleton uncovered that it doesn't match Varun's DNA. Vinyachandran uncovers that George Cuddy had manufactured a substitute peak for his film in which the legend, George Cuddy, in his bid to sidestep lawful discipline, would get the remaining parts of someone else of same age and sex, who had kicked the bucket attributable to comparable wounds like that of the reprobate by become friends with the undertaker of the graveyard where that said body had been buried. The legend would keep the skeletal remaining parts which he got from the graveyard with him for almost three years, and get to know a safety officer at the region clinical school funeral home under the guise of offering him an opportunity in the entertainment world. On the night the remaining parts exhumed from the police headquarters show up at the mortuary, subsequent to employing the safety officer with drinks, the legend would switch the body in the funeral home, not long before the day the DNA examination is to be performed. With no actual proof to demonstrate his culpability, George Cuddy is delivered on private bail. George Cuddy's legal advisor Renuka demands the adjudicator to benevolently coordinate the state police not to continue against George Cuddy and his family for now as they are moving toward the High Court of Kerala to shut down every one of the procedures against them regarding the purported wrongdoing. The adjudicator calls I.G. Bast into his chambers and lets him know that both George Cuddy's and Prabhakar's families really merit equity yet the overall set of laws can't give it to them. The appointed authority additionally arranges Bast to end all examinations of Varun's case, as strange cases are not new to the framework. Outside the town hall, Vinyachandran uncovers to Gita and Prabhakar that George Cuddy's substitute peak had a last part too, the legend would move the lowlife's remains to his dispossessed guardians. All the while, George Cuddy has Varun's incinerated skeletal remaining parts namelessly gave over to Gita and Prabhakar. As Prabhakar drenches Varun's remains into the waterway, Bastin persuades Gita to relinquish her hostility with George Cuddy, saying that they won't ever prevail with regards to rebuffing him since he is excited about his aim to safeguard his loved ones. Bastin likewise expresses such George Cuddy's reality is his discipline, as the last option should continually try in his endeavors to shield his family from the always careful attention of the specialists. In the interim, George Cuddy, who was watching the triplet from...